Hi everyone and welcome back to Wisner TV. This time we will explain how to get started with C++ SDK for W5100S EVV Pico. The guide is exactly the same as if you would use Raspberry Pi Pico, so if you don't have Wisnet board, you can still follow this guide. In this video, we will show how to set up environment on Windows. For other OS, we will prepare separate guides. To set up development environment for Windows C, C++ SDK, it is necessary to install various software. Also, please note that order of installation is important. To simplify environment preparation process, there exists a lot of installation files. For this video, we will use Pico Setup Windows to get official Raspberry Pi Pico C C++ SDK environment. First, as shown on screen, download installation file matching to your Windows version. Run Pico Setup Windows execution file in an administrator mode and press next button. Installation process may take some time. We recommend not to press cancel button during the process. Once completed, restart your PC. As we completed software installation, we can now proceed with SDK download. First, run command prompt. Clone using git command, we recommend cloning using git rather than downloading zip files. Since we installed all software and SDK, now it is time to start Visual Studio Code. Please note that if you run Visual Studio Code from start menu or desktop icon, your code won't build successfully. To solve this, you need to run Visual Studio Code from developer command prompt. Search for developer command prompt for Visual Studio 2019 and run it. Then run Visual Studio Code using following command. Now it is required to adjust settings for CMake tool. Click CMake in Visual Studio Code and then Extensions. In Extensions, find CMake Generator and en enter and make make files. Now that Visual Studio Code settings are complete, it is needed to open RP2040 Head C SDK. To do so, simply drag the RP2040 head C folder to Visual Studio Code workplace. Another way is to open using file open folder menu. Voila, you are all set up and ready. Shall we try running code now? For this guide, we will run Blink sample project on W5100S EVB Pico. As of this video posting date, there is no Blink sample code in RP2040 head C. That's why we need to generate it. Please note that you need not only to make a project code, but also prepare a CMake list file. Source code for project shown on screen can be found in link in the description below. Now let's try to build blink.c file. You can press build button at the bottom or press F7. Once build is complete, in RP2040 head C folder, there will be generated new folder. There you can find build uf2 file. Press reset button on W5100S ABB Pico and plug in USB cable. Same as you would do for Raspberry Pi Pico port. You will see W5100S AVB Pico disk in your PC. Drag and drop UF2 file to this disk. After file is copied, W5100S AVB Pico disk will disappear and built-in LED on the board shall start blinking. To wrap up, today we explain how to get started with C, C++ SDK for W5100S EVB Pico. Since it is the same as if you would use Raspberry Pi Pico board, you can follow this guide even if you don't have W5100S EVB Pico board. Till next time, take care.